think this course is special because a lot of fixed income courses go into a lot of detail about formulas, about valuations, but they perhaps don't cover as much the institutional side, uh, the real world side. And so the idea here really of this course, and I think that's what makes it unique, is to combine those two. And from my experience, that's really what makes a fixed income course an exciting course. It's not just you know the bond valuation and math that you have to learn, but it's to be able to link it to the market institutions, to link it to the market players, to the central bank, other policy makers, and after was kind of have this unified picture of what are the securities, what are the institutions, who are the big players, and how do we think in a unified way about fixed income markets. You don't have to be a quant at a fixed income desk to care about fixed income markets. I think it's something that's really relevant much more broadly. And in fact, for all of those people with kind of this broad connection of their job to fixed income markets, I think those are participants that are really going to benefit from this course by developing kind of a, a knowledge of institutions, a knowledge of securities, but also kind of a deep understanding afterwards that's going to allow them to kind of independently think about fixed income markets and harness that knowledge in their job when they go back to their jobs after the course. Some of the key topics covered include bond markets and the valuation tools needed to successfully navigate bond markets, central banks and how their policy affects markets, and also key markets and institutions, the LIBOR benchmark interest rate, which has been in the news recently, repo markets, and credit default swap or CDS markets. Well, I think fixed income market is one of the areas where theory is really relevant to the real world in the sense that to think about fixed income markets, you need the right theoretical tools and you need to combine them with an understanding of what the market institutions are. And that's precisely what this course is trying to do.